Welcome to a healthy living video blog at WorkoutMaster.com. This is Ruben. You guys know Iron. Today we're going to have an episode and we're going to call it of uh, How Do You Feel? It's not like uh, how you do. It's just how that, you do. How no, you it's, do. Not, it's not how you do. It. It's we actually just, how do you feel? We, we're truly interested in how you feel, guys. And uh, I think it's very important. Yeah, right, Ruben? Absolutely. It's, it's important to know exactly how you react, how you respond. And in the case of this, of this episode, is directly having to do with the foods that you eat and how your body responds and how you yourself respond to what the body is actually feeling. In majority of cases, we find over years of working with the clients and the same as uh, practitioners that also do the same thing, we find people don't really correlate uh, what they eat with how they feel. Uh, and I think we're missing on a very important uh, feedback mechanism where your body actually can teach you quite a lot about what you're consuming. Yes, it's oftentimes that you know you eat the same foods over and over and they might have a good or bad you know reaction to your body but if the case that is actually bad the question that arises or the begs to be asked is that why do you keep eating the same thing if you in fact know that actually is harming you or creating a negative reaction. I think a lot of times people don't even know how they feel. They don't even they realize that what they do directly correlates with the way they feel. That is the case in point of why we are actually putting this episode together. We want to make people aware that they have to start taking notes of some way where they can actually put, you know, the way the food that they eat and their reaction or response from the body. And like we had uh, spoken earlier, it's very important that you write it, right? It's not good enough to just say, well, I'll, I'll keep a mental note. Forget about it. Now, in, a few, in a few hours, in a few days, you'll have no recollection of what happened the week before. And, and you will not have a, a good di diary or log per se where you can go back and it says, I ate this kind of food, it had this kind of reaction. Why, why not? Is the food actually bad for me? Or actually, it was just that I, I actually I didn't match it with the right uh, macronutrients, the protein, the fat, the carbohydrate could have been off, and I need to make adjustments. Yeah. I mean, the, the reaction that you get from food is quite amazing. Uh, Ruben, remember you told me sometimes if you have gluten, you get a knee pain? Absolutely. I had a client that say he has like more than, let's say, one drink, he get a foot pain. Right. Uh, there's all kinds, of, and that's a pain. Pain a lot of times bring on a whole lot more attention that a low energy right and like or uh, people <clears throat> feel it's normal to far or be bloated all the time uh, I cannot the tell you is, you know far equals funny so in that regard I have to disagree with you well but yeah it is it's obviously for a consequence of something that you eat and that your body's telling you not to have absolutely point in case right what you eat what gives you gas try to avoid it at least while you're around me because otherwise I'm gonna let you know in a less subtle way I had a client who went to a nutritionist way back before I even taught nutrition. He, the nutritionist told him to have a lot of beans, so he had a lot of beans. He was farting like a maniac, uh, and he thought it's funny the whole time. I mean, well, he literally was farting his way for like six months or something. Should have tried for the Olympic, you know, <laughs> farting competition. <laughs> <laughs> what are we getting at? Make sure that you write down ex everything that you eat. We know for a fact that every drug has side effects. Well, for two. Food is going to have a secondary effect, you know, to the way that your body wants to assimilate or not the ability to it. So it's very important that you begin to note what those reactions are and that you start learning from them. That's what nutrition is all about, is how to teach yourself to identify what the body does or the body uh, responds and make sense of it. That's why we don't ever recommend cookie cutter approach to diet. We actually call it fine tuning. So you start at a certain point and you move on based on how you feel. In order for you to move on or bring on a better change to your body, what you want to do is you want to write approximate proportion of a fat, carb and protein that you consume right. and then you want to write how you feel within an hour or two after you consume it. Right, yes for, for uh, basic knowledge if you don't, if you don't the type of measurements that we typically use. When we talk about a serving of protein, we're also really usually looking about the palm of our hands to make up what deck of cards. That will be about a, a portion of protein. Mm -hmm. Fat is always measured in tablespoons. And carbohydrates, typically since it's from a fruit or a vegetable matter, we tend to measure them on the size of a fist. Obviously, it wouldn't be mine, but that's about a, a serving in three quarters. It just gives you an idea proportion-wise. <clears throat> 
And right. another uh, very important comment is uh, a lot of people don't realize what it means to how I feel. So if you get depressed, if you have low energy, if you have an anxiety, you have too much energy, if there's anything besides that it's perfect, anything that bothers you, if you have an aching pain, if you get bloated, any kind of feeling that you get but perfect, you want to write it down. Right, we're talking about mostly about physical and emotional reactions secondary to having certain foods. If you don't understand anything out of your written uh, logs, what you can do is you can contact us. Uh, we do see clients all the time. We work on the phone, internet, whatever it is, and we'll be very much happy to help you to get through this and understand what it is that you can change in order for you to feel better. Good. Anything else? No. Just make sure you always pay attention to the way you feel. Excellent. That's it guys, remember if you know how you feel, your future is going to be definitely looking better. Thank you very much for watching, until the next time.